Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I'm going to be giving you five pro tips for Redstone in Minecraft Xbox 60, PS3, PC, Next Gen, and Pocket Edition. So anything with Redstone in, uh, because basically Redstone is one of the more interesting blocks in the game, or you know, set of blocks in the game, because it allows you to do the crazy things in Minecraft that allow you to, you know, like so instance, a home security system or a computer uh, that no one, you know, really thinks is imaginable, and then it really shows just how ridiculous the whole, you know, Minecraft thing is, and uh, it basically, it's just a really, really cool thing, and most people don't even understand how it works, so I figured five, uh, you know, pro tips that are fairly basic could turn your basic circuits, like a button that can, you know, open a, turn on a Redstone lamp, or a lever which can open a door um, to turn those circuits into far more complex ones and allow you to do more of the solutions that you actually want to do. Um, so before I get into the five tips, I want to quickly explain how a circuit works, just in case you've never used redstone before. Um, basically, there are three parts to every circuit. There is a trigger, there is the redstone, which is wire, basically, because it's very, very similar to electricity, and uh, there is the thing which is activated. So in this case, we've got the button, we've got the redstone wire, then we've got a redstone lamp. In this case, we've got a lever, we've got the redstone, and then we've got an iron door. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the pro tips now that everyone understands what redstone is, how it works. Uh, so my first pro tip is how redstone timing works. So basically... Um, redstone is actually takes time to travel across it. Most people think it's instantaneous because it's a very little amount of time, um, but it does actually take time. So for every redstone dust um, that it has to go across, it takes 0 0.01 seconds, so 0 0.01 seconds, a hundredth of a second, uh, to go from the left side of the block to the right side. Uh, that might seem like it's completely inconsequential, and uh, you know, even with eight of them in a row, uh, that's still 0 0.08 seconds, and you know basically a blink of an eye or less. And uh, you might be wondering why is that important then? Uh, basically repeaters, as well as repeating the signal, uh, they also take between 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4 seconds to travel across. Uh, which means that this uh, right here, where we've got four of the 0.4 repeaters and six redstone dust, will actually take 1.66 seconds to cross. So let's quickly show you that in action. So uh, from going from there to that side, 1.66 seconds. Um, and basically, uh, you might be wondering where this is useful. Uh, it's actually very useful for a lot of things, uh, mainly piston work, because uh, you need things to activate in order. So you need a piston to pull in the block, then something to pull in the piston, then something to pull in that piston, etc, etc. And uh, this is very, very useful for that, you know, so you can get the timing just right, but, you know, make it seem like it's instant instantaneous. Also, you can use it so, um, for instance, if you press a button you could put like 20 of these in a row and make it take 8 seconds for something to activate. Or you could put 100 of them in a row and make it take 40 seconds. Uh, there's a whole bunch of opportunities as well as, you know, for instance, lighting. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool things you can do with that if you really want to. Um, and it's definitely worth trying. Uh, my second pro tip involves the um, NOR gate, which basically reverses the signal. Uh, so uh, NOR gates, are, you know, gates are basically things you can do with um, redstone, which will do weird things to it. There are uh, a whole bunch of them, which I've done to toilet, but the one you need to know the most because it shows up for basically everything uh, is the NOR gate, which uh, reverses the signal. So all you have to do is place a block and put a redstone torch on the block uh, in the middle of your circuit. It takes up two blocks. And basically what it does is it reverses you know, the redstone signal as it goes into it. So if the redstone signal's going, turned off going into it, it will have a, you know, strong redstone signal going into it. Uh, if the redstone signal is turned on, then it turns off. So why is this useful, might be wondering. So when you press a button or a lever, it actually turns something off rather than turning on. Uh, so for instance, you could have a pressure plate that you could stand on to lock your door and shut it rather than open it. Uh, you can make a piston retract, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, it retract when you, uh, you know, press a button rather than extend. Uh, you could also turn off a light when you press a switch rather than making it turn on. So you can turn it off if you really want to, but have it default on. There are a whole bunch of possibilities with it, and this basically doubles what you can do with um, redstone if you know this basic circuit. Um, so yeah, a block with redstone on, really, really useful. Uh, so tip number three is um, the locking circuit. Um, basically, um, to quickly just show you, uh, if you want to have something which turns on permanently, which uh, you might be wondering why would I want to do that when I could just use a lever, uh, basically there are some form of inputs that can't turn on permanently. So this button, for instance, only sends a second worth of input. Uh, also, a tripwire hook only sends a small burst of input, and a you know a pressure plate does the same thing. Uh, so what if you want something to turn on permanently? So you want a door to permanently lock, or you want you know a piston to be permanently on, or you want lights to just permanently turn on as soon as you walk into your house. Uh, basically, you need to do a redstone lock, which basically uh, makes the redstone go in a circuit so fast that it's just permanently on. Um, 
And the, basically, the way you do that is you make a uh, you know a bigger redstone square like this. So it has to go round, and round, and round. However, the square has to be one directional. So you put a uh, redstone repeater in like so, and now it has to go round like this. And every time it gets to here, it both goes into the light and it goes round again. So it's infinite redstone just from one push, and it goes into there. So let's quickly show an action. Uh, I press it, it goes all the way round, and now it's permanently on from the button. So yeah, that's how that one works. I'll show you how to turn that off later. So um. The next thing you might want to do is have something flicker on or off. So uh, this is a little bit more complex because it involves quite a bit of timing. Uh, but basically, um, let me just quickly just turn this off for now. Uh, basically, what you might want to do is have something turning on and off to make like a challenge or to have a door permanently opening or to just make flickering lights for whatever reason. Uh, this is how you would do that. So basically, um, you do the same thing with the whole concept of the square where it uh, where it's going around in circles over and over again, but you need to make it that it's really, really long timings on the circles. So, um, the shortest timing is somewhere about 1.5, you know, 1.6 seconds. Uh, so, for instance, this one's 1.64 seconds if you do your basic math. And uh, basically, the more timing you add, the you know, the shorter the pulses are. Uh, so, in this example, it goes round and it's mostly on, and every now and then it flickers off. Uh, if you had more time, if you had more repeaters in there, you could you know make like 10 of them. You can make it so it very, very rarely turns on just randomly, and you can do a whole bunch of things with that. It's very, very useful for some circuits if you just want them to randomly turn on and. Uh, I, I, I think it has a lot of use. I've used it way more times than I care to admit, to be totally honest. Uh, I, I just think it's a very, very cool piece of redstone that will help you out a lot. So, my final uh, piece of advice is uh, basically the redstone lock, which can only by default turn itself off by breaking the circuit. Uh, this is a little pro tip for actually turning that off, um, you know, without having to... Um, use the uh what should we call it uh so it's yeah it's a tip for turning it off without having to just break the circuit so you can have you know a mechanism for turning it off and that is uh you have a piston break the circuit so a circuit when it goes up a wall it goes like this uh but if there was a block right here like so uh it wouldn't be able to connect and it would break the circuit so if you use a piston you can uh go ahead and you can break the circuit so let's quickly turn this on uh as you can see it locks like intended and um when I press this button over here, it actually turns off the circuit. Uh, so this is very, very useful. So for instance, if there's a tripwire hook, which, you know, permanently locks a door or, you know, pitch, pushes pistons down permanently to kill someone, uh, you can use this as a way to reset the trap uh, so that if someone comes in again, uh, it's just, you know, normal. And, uh, you know, they go over the tripwire hook and it happens over and over again. Uh, it's very, very useful and it's definitely something you'll probably want to try. Uh, so yeah, this has been my five pr redstone pro tips. Uh, I've done a series on these. I've done survival pro tips. PvP pro tips and uh, creative pro tips. If you want to check out either of those, they'll be in the description slash uh, in the outro. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If it helped you, please let me know down below uh, what you want to do with it. Uh, and if you want to know anything about Redstone, then uh, you can comment down below and I'll also help you because uh, I, I like helping people out with Redstone. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.